Hello fellow devil hunters, this is going to be a bit of a different video. Welcome to my bonus video. So, for the walkthrough I used Dante, but there are two more modes that you can do. The legendary Dark Knight, let's do this first. Now you may notice that we look different. That's right, we are actually Sparta. And you can see the fucking demonic shadow, which is pretty cool. And our... Uh, what's this fucking sword we have? It's a fucking katana. Let me uh, look at this. Yamato. It's the legendary sword wielded by Sparta. It is said that it has the will and the power to divide and wipe out the darkness. Very interesting. Guess what? See that fucking electricity shit? So this weapon is the exact same as Alistair. Same moves, same range and power, same stats, everything. And you also get Devil Trigger, which is good. I'm not gonna fucking bother with the collectibles, because uh, I'm not actually gonna fucking save this file. Oh yeah, almost forgot. Uh, the fucking handguns we have. These are Luce and Umbra, not Ebony and Ivory. So we have different guns, although they are the same thing, basically. Now, I did say that uh, this Yamato is the exact same as Alistair, but you do not actually get to upgrade your weapon until you get Alistair in Mission 2. And you also cannot fucking get purple orbs. So, um, Yamato is basically fucking Alistair without upgrades. But if you do get an upgrade for Alistair after you get Alistair, then uh, Yamato will have the fucking same move as well. So it's literally the exact same weapon. So, uh, having for, uh, yeah, Alistair in Mission 1 is really significant. Now this is my devil to the You see, this is actually turning into the sword Sparta, which is really odd. But it's pretty cool. There we go. So yeah, having uh, Yamato or fucking Alistair basically makes a huge difference. To mission one because uh you actually do get to use your devil trigger so that's a very good way to fucking balance yourself out with devil triggered enemies and shit okay so you remember how in mission uh one the walkthrough it was pretty difficult because we had to face so many devil triggered enemies well, not anymore. It's pretty easy now because we have fucking... Oh shit. Oh, whoops. You're not dead yet. See? We're only fucking... Ah, there we go. I was about to say we're down to one enemy. But we're down to zero enemies now. And they didn't even fucking devil trigger. Isn't that pretty fucking uh, interesting? Anyway. Yep. This is pretty cool. <laughs> fucking five bloody Marys. And we fucking annihilated them. Oh shit. There we go. So yeah, basically if you have Alistair in Mission 1 or Devil Chigu in general, this is how fucking easy Mission 1 is. Well, I say easy, but I actually died, so I'm fucking only getting an A instead of an S. But yeah, um, yeah, Devil Chigu is really significant, and it really shows how much of a fucking pussy weapon uh, Alistair is. Now, the next mode that I want to show off is Super Dante. 
This one is very interesting. Hi oh guys, so this is Serpent, aren't I? And I just skipped to a rare mission 9 because, uh, you don't actually get Devil Trigger in mission 1 because you're still down there, you're not, uh, Legendary Dark Knight. So you only have Force Edge still. But once you get Alistair, watch this, you're permanently in Devil Trigger. Isn't that pretty fucking cool? Yeah. Hell yeah. Yep, powerful as fuck. If I, uh, if I fight a shadow and stuff. There we go. Oh shit, I'm surprised I got hit by that. Jesus, can you do that fucking face spike thing, please? Thank you. Jesus. There we go. Now, you're actually immune to his fucking, uh, this, this attack when you're in Devil Trigger. So you don't even fucking have to dodge. <laughs> Very nice. But yeah, this is fucking super, aren't I? So, uh, yeah. This shit is pretty good. Right, next up, I want to go over mission one on a continued file because that also makes a significant difference. So this is mission one, but you already have Alistair. You have full health. You have every single item. You have every single weapon. You also have Force Edge and Sparta back, even though you lost them in mission 23 because you fucking gave them Trish. And in the continued file, all the fucking uh, blue orb locations, now they are replaced with yellow orbs instead. So yeah, this is mission one. And we already have Stinger. Feels really weird to have Stinger in mission one. So, I'm going to fucking use Nightmare Beta in a fucking cramped room like this. This will be amazing. Of course, with Super Dante, you can infinitely use Nightmare Beta because, uh, like, Nightmare won't actually, Nightmare Beta won't actually eat away your Devil Trigger with your fucking, uh, Super Dante costume. Yep, they're both dead. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Holy shit. That's amazing. Let me fucking uh, play around a bit more. <laughs> Very nice. Let me uh, get some devil trigger off of you though. Because I, I don't want to fucking uh, risk myself. And if you're in Devil Trigger, they won't actually uh, eat a white extra Devil Trigger. Oh shit. Whoops. <laughs> there we go. Well, I'm not going to fuck around with you anymore. Just get some fucking Devil Trigger off of you. There we go. That's it. Alright. See you guys. Right, I'm going to fucking... What is going on? What the fuck? Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna switch over to fucking grenade gun now. Oh yeah, also, let's use the Sword of Sparta. Because the only time I ever used this was in Mission 2. Partly that is only be uh, that is because that is the only weapon you're able to use in Mission 22. Uh, when you're fighting Mundus. The game won't even, like, allow you to use another sword. So, uh, yeah. Let's see how powerful fucking this is. Jesus. Okay, I was expecting more slashes. 
That was actually my first try doing that. That was way better than I thought. There we go. And that's it. Oh wait, no. There's another one. Good opportunity to fucking grab some devil trigger off of you. There we go. <laughs> uh, imagine that uh, all that fucking struggle in mission one being gone just from the fucking grenade gun and shit. Okay. Oh well, I fucking did damage. <laughs> uh, well, yep, fucking vortex fixes everything. So yeah, on a fucking continued file, mission one is ridiculously easy. But on a fresh character on Dante Must Die mode, it is ridiculously difficult. This fucking gap in difficulty is just really... I don't know. I don't really know what to think about it. Anyway, I didn't want to actually fucking fight these guys. I wanted to just fucking uh, show off a few... Oh my god. Jesus. There we go. Now, I want to show off that there is actually a fucking skill list, although it's very shitty because it doesn't even explain to you how to do the fucking, uh, like, the alternate combos. But it tells you how to do fucking kick jump and roll and devil trigger and shit like that. Wait. Oh, right, there we go. Alistair. So th these are all the fucking moves that you get from fucking, um, uh, the purchases. Same with Ifrit. And uh, if you forget how to... No, wait. Oh shit, I have to be in mission 12. But um, basically that part is supposed to show the underwater controls as well. Also, uh, if you want to fucking uh, look at your map, uh, you can actually see where you are. Which is pretty nice. It's really good for actually understanding the structure, the architecture of this castle. It's pretty interesting to study. Now, you can also see your mission number, and you can also see every single fucking enemy. And all of these enemies will fucking have some sort of description about them based on what you've encountered. So like all the attacks that you have seen, they will be recorded here. So reading this might actually help you fight them. So I recommend reading some of these because they do explain some shit that you might not have caught if you hadn't read all of these. Is there anything else I want to show? Probably not. So yeah, this has been my bonus video and probably my very final video for Devil May Cry walkthrough ever. Uh, I'll probably make another fucking, well not another, I'll probably make a move list for Devil May Cry 1 and then move on to Devil May Cry 2 walkthrough. Even if no one wants to fucking watch that shit, I just fucking need that sense of achievement. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a fucking great day. Stay away from dicks. Don't take any wooden nickels. All that good shit. See you later, guys.